Hampton Court Kitchen Garden. Kitchen Garden produced for you. Every Tuesday, October 25, November 8. Morello Cherry trained in a fan shaped and that beautiful wigwam. I have to build another wigwam like that again. Apple Hertfordshire Russet. But these are not kitchen garden plants. These are pet uh, petunia. What is it with kind of flowery stuff? They are not edible. Let's go in that direction. That is lettuces. In the Hampton School Kitchen Garden. Oh, I like that labeling with a pot. One more red salad bowl and lettoni. Those are courgettes and summer squashes and yet going on. Look at that one, it's like a tower. Lots of seedlings. I wonder what is this sorrel or no, that's not sorrel, that's winter something, I forgot. Winter porcelain. I think this one is lamb's lettuce. The way that it is stuck to the ground is lamb lettuce. That's the parsley, Italian. That's a corn salad. These ones. Of course, a few renegade beans you see here. And corn salad again. And of course, some beetroot. Yeah, mixed salad leaves. Endive and uh, Swiss chard. And that's tree spinach, I think, this one. It looks like it. I have three spinners, I'm about to see the other plant here. I have to sell it on it. They look like tree spinach. That's a strange for this time of the year. We have here. Uh, what is it? I forgot. Globe artichoke. At this time of the year, the flower really has formed. I mean, anyway, what is this? You can harvest it actually, or leave it a bit bigger than harvest. In the spring, the flower will open, and of course, the jars for forcing the yeah, you guessed it, rhubarb, and again, globe artichokes. Those ones have plenty of flower already, all the summer, probably. I think this is clover, yeah, that's to give the ground a cover as a kind of green menu. And these are all the cabbages that you can see ready for winter. One of them has been harvested and the rest of them are growing. That one is almost ready to be harvested. Probably a little bit cold will split that. And here is sprouting broccoli, purple sprouting broccoli. That's a good one, good size. And these ones are, if you don't harvest them now, they will go into flower. It's just strange, it's very warm. The purple sprouting broccoli should not be in, in this state at this time. February, March. Very strange. And all these cabbages, of course, looks like winter can get it. Of course, you see a little snail there, or a slug. Enjoying and another variety of the cabbages and dead end and apple variety Isaac Newton in a pot and it yet have leaves and that is the 29th of the October 
all, all kind of lettuces and cabbages the red cabbage it's called chicory oh no that's chicory pala rosso oh i had one of these unfortunately i kept it too long it went and another kind of endive and that is split a rot actually and that's another chicory the name is uh, Rosa del Trevo, Treviso, Italian. And again, I think they look like a spinach. Yeah, I was right, spinach. And again, spinach, banjo. I have some my spinach medina, but spinach, renegade. That's huge leaves. It's like trout almost. Spinach banjo, spinach banjo, and this is the gooseberry, Cape gooseberry, or you can call it Fusilia. And of course, radishes, cherry bell. You can see the radish there. They have a split. Mine also have a split. And spring onion at a good state. In two months, probably you can harvest some. Even you now you can harvest, but they're very thin now, very small. And of course, carrot, royal, chesting, chestenai, whatever, chantenai. Oh, <coughs> I've been harvested, and some of them are outside, green. And this is celeriac. And they are trying to bleach, bleach some of them, blanch some of them. They cover them in the cardboard. These ones have been harvested. Oh yeah. What is celery? Where is celery? They look like celery. Yeah, these are celery. They are just excluding like this is celery. Okay, this is near the Thames, Hampton Court, 